Hey, what it do, what it do, man? It's your boy Roscoe Dash. The first thing that I want to say, aside from, check out my fade. All right, you did a great job. This is what I look like now, y'all. Wiki, I need y'all to get it together, okay? Wikipedia, y'all supposed to be the source. Y'all, the first thing to pop up on Google, y'all can't be telling folks I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, Wyoming, or whatever. No shade, but it's a privilege and an honor to be from the home of the brave, the place where people like Outkast, Lil John and the East Side Boys, Ludacris, T.I., you name it, Gucci Man, Shawty Lowe. Don't take that away from me, man. I worked hard for that. 27 years, I'm a native. Now, let's get to what y'all really want to talk about. Know what y'all probably thinking? Does Roscoe drive lift? Is this not the same white Tahoe that is circulating all around the internet? Is that not a lift sticker on the same Tahoe that is circulating around the internet right now? The answer is yes. Now, this is one of my vehicles. For those of y'all who don't know me, I have children. Can't fit too many kids in a coupe, okay? So this is one of my cars. When I'm not using it, when I'm not traveling or doing whatever I'm doing with it, I allow people, friends, family, whatever, to come and use the car for whatever reasons, whether that be partying, transportation, transportation services, making some little extra money, whatever the case may be. So I'll let y'all put two and two together with that. Now, what I do wanna say is, is that as a successful entrepreneur, one thing that I've learned is it's important to humble yourself. We learned that from Kendrick, we learned that from LeBron James. LeBron James. But furthermore, as an entrepreneur, it's important to have multiple sources of income. And I'm pretty sure people like OBJ, DJ Khaled, Shaq, I don't know, you tell me, but they would agree the lift is no exception to creating multiple sources of income. Now, let me give y'all some big old facts. There's nothing wrong with driving lift. <laughs> fact number one. Fact number two, 2016 to 2017, lift brought in $700 million and they only take away 25% from fares from their drivers. I'll let y'all do that math. Another big old fact, fact number three, would be that 28 people a day die from intoxication or being under the influence while operating a motor vehicle which adds up to about 10,000 people a year. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was reported that the person who initially tweeted that I could or could not be a Lyft driver or that I was coming to pick them up or whatever the case may be and canceled, I believe that they reported that the person was intoxicated. But had that ride not been canceled, I would have been doing that person a justice or a service by preventing something that could be tragic or life-threatening to happen by trying to get from point A to point B intoxicated. So, I say that to say thank you to entrepreneurs that create groundbreaking platforms like Lyft and Uber, or even entrepreneurs like myself who take chances and um, create opportunities for people to have a better community and be safe and have fun at the same time. We're gonna do a ride along where I'm gonna go pick random people, random lifts, and I'm gonna tag along and um, we're gonna preview a couple songs at random to random people during their lift ride. I don't know nobody else that's doing that. So, um, stay tuned, man. Classic. I'm coming soon. Yeah. I think I love you, baby girl. Then again, I've been getting away my love from these Benjamins. I'm just stating facts. This for money to talk back. It don't make me wanna go to fuck off. Run it. I'm back and I'm better